House of Dallas. C slash O Executor's Office, Linton O'Neill X 2322 East Greater Port More St. Catherine, American Island of Zamiaka, Jamaica Commonwealth. In the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court, the Traffic Division, Civil. In Re, Case Hashtag CA 2019 TR 161443-48. Underscore 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 Judicial and administrative notice. In order to proceed, I first require that this tribunal to recognize that I am here on special visitation as the beneficial equitable title holder on the matters pertaining to the legal trust entity Linton O'Neill Dallaston copyright. I also require this tribunal to take notice that I am present, only in the capacity as one who has attained the age of majority. Therefore, I direct you to fulfill your fiduciary duty and settle all accounts as my public trustees or public servants. I do now acknowledge and accept the certification of my right of subrogation. I do not consent to proceed until this tribunal acknowledge that I am here on special visitation as the beneficial equitable title holder. Universal Postal Union Authority Notice I have paid the freight fee for this document by way of a cancelled adhesive $1 USA. Postal Samp, representing one troy ounce of gold, which entitle and guarantee not just the document, but myself safe passage as postmaster. Judiciary ACT, 24 September 1789 Section 342 First Congress Session 1 CH 20 Greater than 1789. Judiciary ACT, 25 June 1948 CH 645 Greater than 62 STAT 685. All rights reserved. Without prejudice, i.e., all natural and unalienable rights reserved. In the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court, the Traffic Division, Civil. Linton O'Neill Dallaston Copyright. For and on behalf of the true party of interest, general executor, and beneficial title holder, Linton O'Neill X, by Authorized Republic, Linton Dallas A.R. Claimant Case, CA 2019 TR 161443-48. Registered Bond, A5187685. Versus Exemption, 11284106. Regina and the Government of Jamaica E.T. A.L. For and on behalf of the true parties of interest, the men acting in the capacity as Court Clerk and Prosecutor, Mr. Patrick James. Detective Sergeant of Police No. 424, Mr. Kirk Roach. Constable of Police No. 13172, Mr. Byron Martindale. Constable of Police Number 14422, Mr. Kirk Weston. Corporal of Police Number 13905, Mr. Tyrone Walker. Respondiat Superior March 24, 2021. Underscore 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 Lawful Notice of Claim Certification of Service for Discovery Vicarious or Joint Liability Notice to Agent is Notice to Principal and Notice to Principal is Notice to Agent Applies Do not ignore this legal document To ignore this legal document will have legal consequences for the man or woman acting in the capacity as judge, prosecutor, court clerk or court officers Ignorance of the law is no excuse
The authorized representative Linton Dallas A.R. for, and on behalf of General Executor and beneficial title holder, Linton O'Neill X, does now testify, declare and certify that, I have served the foregoing documents by hand, delivered to the office of the man acting in the capacity as court clerk and prosecutor, a Mr. Patrick James at the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court, Traffic Division. All documents are date-stamped as physical presentable evidence of the facts on the public record, located at the Island Record Office, Jamaica. Documents Service for Discovery, in re, case hashtag CA 2019 TR 161443-48 are as follows. 1. Writ for the production of an inspection of document and property. Malicious destruction of property. Date stamped, November 3, 2020. Public Record Number 6963 2. Rules, 201, Judicial Notice of Adjudicated Facts Cease and Desist Order Date Stamped, 09 November 2020 Public Record Number 6962 3. Truth Affidavit in the Nature of Supplemental Rules for Administrative and Maritime Claims Rules C. 6 Copyright Claim Notice Date Stamped November 9, 2020. Public Record Number 6961. 4. The Right to Travel, Adjudicated Facts, Notice and Demand. Date Stamped, January 4, 2021. Public Record Number 6964. 5. Judicial and Administrative Notice in the Form of an Affidavit. Rebuttal Claim, Malicious Prosecution. Date Stamped, January 4th, 2021. Public Record Number 6963. 6. Fee Schedule, Self-Executing Security Agreement, Coupled with Interest. Notice. Date Stamped, January 4th, 2021. Public Record Number 3343. Traffic Management Act 2004. Now this is where events become really interesting because the act referred to is actually an act of Her Majesty's Parliament and or the Government of Jamaica, a recognized unlimited corporation, or an all-for-profit business. An act, which is not law, it is not even referred to as law as it is an act of a corporation, or an all-for-profit business, or policy, but it is not a law. Acts and statutes of Her Majesty's Parliament and or the Government of Jamaica can only it be given force of law by the consent of the governed, by those who have agreed to the acts and statutes of Her Majesty's Parliament, and or the Government of Jamaica located at 1520 New Hampshire Ave Washington DC. 20036, Strike 1, displays lack of understanding and competence regarding what is the difference between law and legislation. Therefore, there is a mandatory legal requirement under current legislation that the governed must have given their consent legally which can be physically presented as fact before the acts and statutes of Her Majesty's Parliament and or the Government of Jamaica can be given force of law. Strike 2, not law, not enforceable without consent. Millions of people have not legally entered into those agreements in full knowledge and understanding and of their own free will. An agreement which must be kept on the public record for the acts and statutes of Her Majesty's Parliament and or the government of Jamaica to be given an action which involves force, or force of law. Profiteering through deception is an act of fraud. Strike 3. C. Fraud Act 2006. Fraud. Fraud is, a deliberate action to defraud where the victim of the crime is unaware having no knowledge of a situation or fact. This crime carries a penalty of 7 to 10 years incarceration, and the latter, where there are multiple instances. Millions of people are subject to this crime every day on multiple levels, as it is now commonplace, and is carried out by the largest company in this country. This same company is also a public office with the enforcement to execute this crime, which is inclusive of but not limited to the office of the police, the office of the judiciary, local government, and central government. Independent bailiff and debt collection companies are also licensed by the same company. Seditious Conspiracy Strike 4 See Title 18 U.S.C. 2384, Fraud by False Representation See Fraud Act of 2006 S2 
malfeasance, misfeasance and nonfeasance are also very severe crimes with a period of incarceration of life in prison. Malfeasance is a deliberate act, with criminal intent to defraud and ignorance is no defense. Malfeasance, defined by appellate courts in other jurisdictions as a. A wrongful act which the actor has no legal right to do. b. An act for which there is no authority or warrant of law. c. An act which a person ought not to do. d. An act which is wholly wrongful and unlawful, as that which an officer has no authority to do and is positively wrong or unlawful, and is the unjust performance of some act which the party peer forming it has no legal right. Crimes of this nature cannot go unpunished. If crime goes unpunished then the criminal will undertake the action again and again. When the criminal is rewarded for the crimes by their peers and superiors, it then becomes difficult to know that a crime has been committed in the first place. However, it is everyone's obligation to be fully conversant with their actions and the consequences of their actions in every situation. Strike 5. Racketeering Enterprise of Criminal Organization, RECO. See Title 18 U.S.C. 1962. When the full extent of these crimes is realized, it then becomes blatantly obvious that these crimes are deliberate and in full knowledge, if not by the lower subordinates, but defiantly by the executive officers of the company and or corporation. I was just following orders or I was just doing my job is no excuse. Summary 1. The alleged contravention did not occur. No contravention has occurred, because there are no agreements between Linton Dallas A.R. and Her Majesty's Parliament, and or the Government of Jamaica, which can be legally and physically presented as fact in support of the alleged contravention. 2. Traffic order that is alleged to have been contravened in relation to the automobile concerned is invalid. The traffic order is illegal, because there is no agreement between the parties, which is legally and physically presentable as fact and signed in wet ink, to be legal, legally binding or legal consent. All presentable as fact complete with a signature in wet ink, and without the signature in wet ink on a legal document in the form of an agreement, then it is not legal, or is illegal and therefore not lawful. 3. A challenge has been made and has not been effectively rebutted by the prosecuting court clerk, Mr. Patrick James, nor any other parties of interest. 4. It is obvious at this point that there is no one at the prosecuting court clerk's office that is capable of understanding the challenge made by Linton Dallas A.R. or capable of responding, therefore an arbitrator becomes necessary. 5. Regardless of the legislation or policies of Her Majesty's Parliament and or the Government of Jamaica, any commercial activity would constitute an act of fraud without the commercial agreements in place beforehand. 6. There can only be one outcome to this tribunal, which is acceptable under current legislation. Her Majesty's Parliament and or the Government of Jamaica will find in favor of Linton Dallas A or not in favor of the continued trespass, transgressions and malicious prosecution by zealous public servants. 7. We have taken a considerable amount of time and energy responding to Her Majesty's Parliament and or the Government of Jamaica when making our presentation and in preparation for this tribunal. It is not without reason that a consideration is to be expected. This would also serve to enforce the decision made by the arbitrator in this tribunal. If the arbitrator is truly an independent and an honorable individual, then an adequate consideration is in order. 8. Linton Dallas A.R. also notes that although this tribunal is informal, it is also recognized as legally binding regardless of the findings of the arbitrator. 9. We would also like a response in writing from the arbitrator to relay the outcome of this tribunal conveying the reasons for the arbitrator's decisions. 10. For the trespass upon our property without authority or consent, 1 million US dollars penalty at par value per use plus fee schedule cost. 11. For the trademark, copyright, copy claim use, without written authorization or consent, 500,000 US dollars penalty at par value per use. 12. No acts of Her Majesty's Parliament and or the Government of Jamaica applies to Linton Dallas A.R., the estate he represents, nor his principal, Linton O'Neill X. Absolutely no policy 
or acts imposed applies to us. To God be the glory. Certification Justice of the Peace Execution. Done this first day of March, 2021. Signature, Linton Dallas, Authorized Republic. Autograph, Linton O'Neill X, Beneficial Title Holder.